Danny. Danny, tell them. Make them. Make them. No, you can't. You... Danny, please. A crown for king. I cannot kill a dragon. Hi, what's up? Welcome to my channel, guys. Did you enjoy the scene? Today, we're going to learn English with Mother of Dragons, Daenerys Targaryen from Game of Thrones serial. If you like to learn English with another powerful woman, watch Learn English with Lagatha Lothbrok and subscribe to my channel. I am Daenerys Stormborn of House Targaryen. Stormborn, the circumstance of Danny's birth is the main reason why she is called Stormborn. She was born during the worst storm in Westeros allegedly. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me. Take back. To get control over something you controlled earlier. When my dragons are grown, we will take back what was stolen from me. Let's see some examples. Number one. The Mockrates hope to take back the House of Representatives in the next election. Number two. Once we give them up to the government, we will never be able to take those rights back. Don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying my videos. We will lay waste to armies and burn cities to the ground. Lay waste to destroy or damage something, especially in a war. We will lay waste to armies and burn cities to the ground. There are some examples for you. Number one. Last night, rabbits laid waste to the lettuce I was going to pick today. Or the army laid waste to the countryside as it moved south. Now, it's your turn. Make a sentence with phrase lay waste and comment for me. Turn us away and we will burn you first. Turn somebody away. To refuse to let someone enter a place or join an organization. For example, because they are enemies now. Turn us away and we will burn you first. Let's see some examples to understand this separable phrase. For example, the show was so popular, police had to turn people away. I am Daenerys Stormborn of the blood of Old Valyria, and I will take what is mine. Mine, used by the person speaking or writing to refer to something that belongs to or is connected with himself or herself. I am Daenerys Stormborn of the blood of Old Valyria, and I will take what is mine. Look at this conversation. Is that your car? No, mine is parked over the road. Or, I want you to meet an old friend of mine. You're both here to advise me. I value your advice. Advise someone. To tell someone what you think they should do especially when you know more than they do about something. You're both here to advise me. I value your advice. For example, she needed someone to advise her, or there is another helpful example. I'd advise you against saying anything to the press. You're both here to advise me. I value your advice. 
value something or someone, your ideas about what is right and wrong, and be grateful in life. I have three examples for you. Tell me which meaning dedicated to our explanation. Number one. Every customer is looking for value for money. Number two. We decided to get the house valued. Number three. I hope this book will be of value to both teachers and students. Did you choose your answer? The true answer is number three. Bet my dragons made no promises. Make no promises. The meaning of make a promise is to tell someone that one will definitely do something in the future. But make no promise is opposite of make a promise. And you can use it to indicate that while you may have indicated a hope or promise, it cannot be graduated. Bet my dragons made no promises. For example, we held the city today, my lord, but I make no promises for tomorrow. And you threatened their mother. Threaten someone. To say that you will cause someone harm or trouble if they do not do what you want. For example, doctors are sometimes threatened with violence if they don't do what patients want. Man who fights for gold can't afford to lose to a girl. Effort. If you cannot effort to do something, you must not do it because it could cause serious problems for you. For example, it afforded her the opportunity to improve her English skills. Or, in a negative way, we can't afford to wait any longer or we'll miss the plane. You'll all be slaves after the battle unless I save you. Unless, used to say that something will happen or be true if something else does not happen or is not true. There is a point. Use unless to say that something will happen. Do not use will or shall after unless. For example, businesses will not survive unless they satisfy their customers. But still, an oath is an oath. Oath, a formal and very serious promise. For example, servicemen have to swear an oath of loyalty to their country. Or there is a very simple example. She couldn't break her oath. So I assume, my lord, you're here to bend the knee. Bend the knee, to bow down to a king or queen. This is a position in which the knee of one leg is touching the floor. For example, they'll bend the knee or I'll destroy them. Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, please.